Hi, this is Taryn from Noify's Customer Experience Team, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit about how to get your jobs from QuickBooks into your new Noify account. First thing we'll want to do is go to your admin section, and under Customize, and in the Customize menu, clicking QuickBooks, uh, we'll want to turn on the setting that's called Jobs as Subclients. And you'll notice that you actually can't turn this on yourself, but uh, if you email support at noify.com, we'll usually turn this on for you very quickly. I also want to just make note that the pull expenses feature is currently turned off. We'll be enabling this later on to get our expenses from QuickBooks into the jobs that we import. Uh, but I want it off for right now so we can make sure that everything hits the right job when we pull it in. Uh, and we're going to start this process in our client database. This is going to show us all of our sub-customers that we pulled in from QuickBooks into Noify. And I'm going to use this sub-customer of Awesome Co. as my example. I'm going to open up my QuickBooks account really quickly so you can see that uh, 321 Warren Street is a sub-customer of Awesome Co. in our QuickBooks account. Uh, in this case, it's not a project. And I'm going to click this button on the right-hand side of uh, the client in Noify that says Convert to Job. And what that's going to do is create a new project in my Noify account that's associated with that sub-customer in QuickBooks. Now I'm going to create the proposal for this job. This is usually where we would create an actual proposal that we're sending to the client for approval. But in this case, since it's already approved, I'm just going to add a line item. And I'll set it to the value that the client has approved on this contract. Uh, now all we really need to do is make this active. We don't need to send it out for signature because we're assuming it's something that's already been approved by the client. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK and start by locking the revenue to date on this job. Uh, if I go back to the customer QuickBooks, I can see that there is currently $1,000 outstanding in invoice 300 in QuickBooks. And I want to try my best to mimic that in Noify. So I'm going to create a new invoice. Uh, and I'm going to choose method number two. This lets me enter in a dollar figure instead of a percentage. I'll go ahead and plug in $1,000. Uh, and I'm going to change the invoice number. If we had an invoice in QuickBooks with the same number as one we are pushing to QuickBooks from Noify, it would be a problem. But I'm going to uncheck the send to QuickBooks button since this is already in QuickBooks and we don't want to duplicate. Then when I finalize, uh, we'll just have two separate invoices, one in Noify, one in QuickBooks, that are managed separately. That includes our payments, uh, so we'll manage those uh, you know, in both systems moving forward. Uh, once I have my job set up and my revenue set, uh, next I want to pull the cost in from QuickBooks. Uh, so just to show you, I have uh, two transactions in QuickBooks, an expense and a bill that are both logged against this sub-customer that we converted into a job. Uh, and what you'll want to do is make sure that you have all of your sub-customers converted to jobs before doing this. But next, I'm going to go back to my admin section into that QuickBooks settings. And I'm going to now turn on the pull expenses feature that we had left off earlier. Then uh, when I click Sync Now, Noify is going to look to QuickBooks for anything that it hasn't pulled in. And now that we have pull expenses uh, turned on, that means that it's going to be pulling in all expenses uh, that it can find. So you can see that cost is automatically logged against this job without me having to enter anything extra. Uh, it just pulls the information from QuickBooks and populates the plan and track section in Noify. It's just a nice way to keep you from having to double enter any of this information because if it's in QuickBooks, we want to be able to have it automatically populate our Noify account uh, directed to the job for job costing as well. Now that we have our revenue set for the job and our material cost to date, uh, I'm just going to briefly show you how to enter our labor cost to date. I'll go down to labor and select enter time. I'm just going to enter one hour for any of my employees. It's really going to be just for the sake of getting our cost to date uh, as accurate as possible. Then in review time, I'm going to edit the cost of this one hour that we logged to be the total that we've spent on uh, labor cost on this job to date. And now when I go back to that project, it'll have an accurate depiction of profitability based off of the revenue from the invoice that we logged, uh, all of the bills and expenses from QuickBooks, and our labor to date.
And now that this job is set up, I can continue doing things like progress invoicing and locking expenses, and it'll all sync with QuickBooks accordingly uh, without us having to you know, adjust anything or act any differently in Noify. Uh, for example, I'm going to go ahead and create another invoice for this job. Uh, you can see that it automatically incremented to the next invoice number in my uh, sequence. And now I'm going to send this one to QuickBooks, uh, just so I can show you that now in my QuickBooks account, there's going to be another invoice under that same sub customer. So again, I don't have to do anything differently in Noify. It's all just going to be syncing up. And I just use that view in QuickBooks button in Noify just so I can show you the invoice that was generated in QuickBooks. Uh, you can see that it's tagged to the corresponding sub customer, just like I had mentioned earlier. One last thing I'd like to mention uh, when we're job costing from QuickBooks into Noify is in the job costing hub uh, in our dashboard module. This lets us filter out expenses that were pulled in from QuickBooks and we can specify ones that are not allocated to jobs and then we can assign them to different jobs. This way if anything wasn't coded correctly in QuickBooks but we do want to assign it to a job or maybe if we created the job after pulling in the expenses uh, we could still get all of that job costing as accurate as possible in our Noify account. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, email us at support at noify.com.